The Brexit generation is dying out. The other evening, I was talking to a friend from Yorkshire about you know what. Four Brexiteers from my family died this year, she told me. As it happens, the pollster Peter Kellner was listening in and he shared some calculations he'd made about when, other things being equal, the Brexit majority would be reduced to zero by that most natural of wastages. It went something like this. 600,000 voters die every year. Given the age profile of Brexit voters, 450,000 of them would be amongst the deceased as against about 150,000 remainers. In addition, new voters are added, and if they voted in the same way as their slightly older brothers and sisters, then by the time we leave in 2020, we would have a Remain majority. It's not my intention to be callous. Look at this grey hair. My demographic voted solidly for leaving and solidly last summer for the Conservatives. But younger voters didn't. And in so not doing, they broke an old compact that kids overwhelmingly vote as their parents did. Dig down and three factors stand out. Younger voters from Generation X through Millennials to Generation Z are much less likely to own their own homes, significantly more connected to each other by recent technology, and much more socially liberal, so that things regarded as moot by older groups are no longer up for debate. As Ipsos Mori put it in their end-of-year report, Gender, racial and sexual equality are expected and brands which don't share this stance cannot expect to be considered by Generation Z. Those brands include political parties. As that boomer to end all babies put it, our old road is rapidly ageing. Please get out of the new one if you can't lend your hand. For the times, they are a-changing.